y'all, I'm my son wanted some chili beans. So here I am, I brown my ground beef, this 80-20 ground beef. And I like to add a little onion to mine. And I'm gonna also add a little garlic. I used to always, 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 always use fresh garlic, but I found that the flavor of your food is just as good when you use the, gar the uh, garlic in a jar. So I'm gonna put a little bit of that. They used to, I use a two alarm chili mix. They used to give you minced onion and garlic. They stopped doing that. Um, but I do like to add garlic. I like to do bell pepper too, but I'm not gonna do bell pepper today just because I have um, the seasoning packet that comes with it. Um, uh, oh, I'm, but I'm using Rotel tomatoes. So, this is two pounds of ground beef. I'm sorry, I started late and I don't, I haven't been cooking, doing keep cooking videos, so I wasn't prepared, but let me share it again. So I use a two alarm chili kit. And in that, and so it does have the garlic and onion, but here's the onion and garlic pack, packet that comes in there. They give you chili pepper, which it used to be bigger than that, more than that. Um, they give you paprika. They give you cumin and oregano. They also give you masa for thickening. I don't use this. And they also give you red pepper, but I use Rotel tomatoes. So to me, mine is spicy enough. So I'm gonna come back when I start adding. Okay, I also put the Chilio packet. Now, this packet, I I stumbled up on this. I've been doing it too long, Chili, but I stumbled up on this. I had bought it one time for our community feeding at church and I, that's all I use is the Chilio. Or maybe I did have some too long because that's what I knew, but it was really, really good. And it has the masa in it, so you don't have to worry about thickening. It has the thickening in it. So we, that was a that was a chilio. Here's the paprika. Again, these are the packets that are inside the um, two alarm chili mix. I didn't cut that big enough. Oh my goodness, come on now. We'll cut this out. Like I said, this is a chili pepper from the two alarm chili mix. It used to be a lot larger than that, a lot larger than that. Here are the dehydrated onion and garlic. Remember, I put fresh though. To me, I don't. I like. I like my food to be seasoned. It don't have to be seasoned with a lot of salt and stuff. You really can elevate the seasoning in your food by just putting fresh vegetables. Fresh vegetables. You have to put all that extra. Uh, and I do use it, like chicken bouillon and all that. If you put fresh vegetables, you won't have to use as much as that. Like I said, I do use it, especially when I'm cooking a large quantity like at church. Damp up that flavor. I mix up a little of the kitchen bouquet with that stuff and it, it works. All right. So I added that. Now to that, I have to add my tomato sauce. It says eight ounces, but I'm using 16 because I doubled the recipe. I also, I also put diced tomatoes in mine, and also I use Rotel tomato. I got the chili fi fixings this time. And what I do, I think I probably told you, if you watch my videos, you've seen, when I cook beans, I boil my beans first. And when it comes to that first ball, I strain them because beans grow in dirt, and you'll see a lot of dirt on your beans. And I find when I do that, I have less flatulence because beans will give you flatulence, which is what? AKA gas. All right, so I'll come back once I put all this together, okay? Hold on. Okay, so I have my diced tomatoes. I have my tomato sauce. And I have my Rotel tomato. I hope it's not too spicy hot. <laughs> and 
You also need, uh, it says eight ounce can of water, but I'm using the whole 16 ounce because remember, I doubled the recipe. Well, not really doubled it. No, I really didn't double the recipe. I just doubled the seasoning. <laughs> All right. And so I'm making chili beans, but I don't like to buy the canned beans because to me, that's just too much sodium. So what I do is I got my camellia beans over here boiling. And that's, I take that and I um, put that in my chili beans. And so this is what it looks like. We're gonna let this cook, simmer this for about 30 minutes. And you got yourself a good old thing of chili. Now you can taste this and see if you wanna add anything. But usually y'all, when I fix this, I don't add anything else to it. Again, it's your kitchen. If you wanna add whatever you do, fine, but I don't. Be right back. All right, y'all, so here are the beans boiling. See all that? Some of this dirt off of those beans. So I always boil mine first, but for chili beans, I'm gonna boil them a little bit longer because when you add them to the chili, they really need to be just about done. So I've been boiling them probably for about 30 minutes. I'm gonna do like about 25 more, okay. All right, y'all, so here I've added the beans, but I ended up putting a, too, a little bit too much of the broth. So I'm gonna have to cook this down because I like my chili beans kind of thick. I really didn't have to add any of that water from the beans after I strained it, but I did put a little bit and I, I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> anyway, so I'm gonna cook this about another, mm, it's not too weak, but I like mine thicker than that. So as it cooked though, it is gonna thicken because the, you know, the beans get thick when they're when they cook and the beans aren't done. So it's gonna be fine, but it, it's really flavorful. All right, I'll come back when it's done. Hey y'all, so this is the final thing. They still, I'm, I'm gonna let them cook some more though. It's got, I put too much of the juice. But again, look, it's not, it's, it's, it's thick enough. All right, y'all, be blessed. Have a good night. Talk to y'all later. Bye. Shoulders. Shoulders. Shoulders.